So, let's talk about my top four favorite new Tacoma mods. This is on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Now, there are several other things that I've done, but when I really think about it, these are my top four favorites. Some are functional, some aren't. Number one is the lift. You know, I love lifted trucks. I've talked about that, I think, a million times on the channel. I just think it adds an aggressive look to any truck out there. It makes it look even better. On this truck, I went with a two inch leveling lift. What that means, of course, is that I raised the front end up right about two inches, could be plus or minus a little bit, to give it a nice level appearance. The Tacoma comes, of course, with the front end pointing down. I guess that's so that when you load up the rear end, everything levels out, but I don't haul that much stuff anyway, and I'd rather have the truck, I guess, pointing up when I do load it, if I ever do, as opposed to, opposed rather, to have it pointing down all the rest of the time. I did change out the wheels and tires as well. They are gonna fall in my list, but not just yet. Number two, the Pedal Commander. You know, I've been a big advocate of the Pedal Commander on the third gens, and I also love it on this truck. Now, what does it do on this truck? Primarily because this truck has pretty darn good acceleration anyway. Not as much throttle lag as what we had on the 2023 or the third gen models. What it does is it refines the acceleration. It's the best way I can describe it, I guess. It refines it in such a way that you have everything that it has to offer when you get on the accelerator. Now, I'm not talking about flooring it every time you take off. If you do that, you're probably gonna be investing in new tires more often as well because they will break. What it does is it just allows you to utilize everything that the truck has to offer when it comes to acceleration. Of course, you can dial it up, you can dial it down, make it as sensitive or not as you want to. I usually go with a Sport 3, Sport Plus 3, uh, because I've found that's the perfect balance for me, even on this truck. There's also an eco setting where you can improve fuel economy if you're into that kind of thing. Honestly, I can't tell you if it even makes any difference at all when it comes to fuel economy, because I didn't get it for that. I got it to refine the truck and make it even quicker than it already was. Number three, the sport bar on the bed. You know, I'm a big lover of, I guess, roll bars on trucks. I've always liked them. I think it goes back to the uh, back to the future days, right? You know, an old, uh, what was his name? Marty McFly, or I can't even, I don't even remember if that was his name. But I love that black Tacoma that they showed at the end of that movie. It was awesome. Of course, it had a roll bar on it. And I think that's when I really fell in love with roll bars. The one I have on this truck, it's not really a roll bar. It is not functional. You wouldn't want to roll this truck and depend on that bar to keep the roof from collapsing. It's not going to happen. It's really more for aesthetics, looks. And of course, you can use it as a more functional piece if you're going to mount some sort of lighting system to the truck. I've done that before on past versions. I probably will add some sort of light back there. I think what I'm going to do this time around though is something different than what I've done before. I'm going to go with more of a, a longer light bar. Maybe other options in that light bar as far as colors and things. I don't know. Why not go nuts when you're, when you're adding something like that anyway? We shall see. Nonetheless, I love the looks of it on the truck. I think it just makes it look a bit more aggressive, a bit meaner, if you will. Next up, number, I don't know, four or five, I forget where we're at in the count here, the shackles on the back of the truck. I came across this mod when I was searching for things, ideas, options of what I wanted to do on this truck, and I think it is an awesome addition, and it is functional. The D-ring brackets that you put on, as well as the D-rings themselves, are functional in that 
they bolt down to a frame member across the back. It's the same piece that Toyota put in to be able to use a high lift jack. You know, if you look at the back of the truck, right next to where those D-rings are, you can see some square holes, right? It even says on there, I believe, high lift jack point or lift point, something like that. And it's designed to be able to pull the truck up in the air. Perfect place for a mod like this. And I've got to say, I can't remember the company name, but whoever it was that came out with this, what a great idea to be able to utilize that bar on the back of the truck. I think it just makes it look meaner from the back. Lastly, we have to talk about the wheels and tires, as I mentioned. Uh, I couldn't stand to keep the chrome or the brushed aluminum, whatever they were, on the back of the truck. I love the look of what I've got on there now. They are, of course, black. They're TRD wheels. They have the TRD center caps with the red TRD lettering, of course, as well as the addition of a a meatier, more aggressive looking tire in the form of Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. Now, I should add a little note here. Falcon did come out with another version, I guess. It's an AT4W. Nothing wrong with those. I went with the AT3Ws because they are a version that I've had in the past. I have experience with them, and they are by far, eh, they are better as far as comfort goes, ride quality, and also performance in the rain. We don't get any snow or anything down here, so honestly, I haven't tested them in that kind of weather, but we do get rain. And I had noticed on some of the other tires that I had, some, other, some of the other manufacturers, that they would tend to break loose on wet pavement. You know, when it first rains, it kind of brings out all the oil and everything that's in the roads, and it gets really slippery. And if you don't have a, a good tire, you're gonna slip and slide. And I first noticed that on some of my others, turning into a paved driveway after a rain. It was almost like being on ice. I would turn in, hit the gas, and the rear end would start to fishtail on me right out of the turn. I don't have that problem with the Falcons. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get them to break loose. Obviously, if you make that same turn, really get on it, they're gonna break loose as well. But I love the look of them and the performance. Best tire out there, in my opinion. Anyway, those are the four or maybe five best mods or mods that I like the best on the new Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my list. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.